figure on calling it bourbon. Mm. Lacks the bouquet for bourbon. Better age it a couple of more hours and call it ancient brandy. That'll do it. <laughs> How are you doing with the invitations, Mr. Parker? Oh, not bad. Listen to this. Gamble your cares away on beautiful McHale's Island, the Las Vegas of the Pacific. <laughs> Open to all eligible servicemen, those with money. P.S. Burn this invitation after reading. Perfect, Mr. Parker. Perfect. Go on. Uh, even though you're not near, I'll always miss you, Mother dear. You know, Gruber, I don't think it was such a good idea sending out these Mother's Day cards as tickets. It's not our fault the convoy comes in on Mother's Day. Besides, this is war, and we've got to camouflage the operation. Well, Mother's Day sure won't seem the same without Mom. Ah, let's not get maudlin, Mr. Parker. Why, if all those guys show up, think of all the gifts we'll be able to afford. We're sending our mothers mink coats, mink aprons, mink, mink. Oh, uh, hi, Skip. Let me take a look at those, will you? Seven. Huh. Seven again. Hey, Skip, you got a hot roll going for you. You mean I got hot dice here? <laughs> right, come here, you guys. Come over here. Now, look, I agreed to underwrite this, this, this blowout just to break the monotony, not the Seventh Fleet. Oh, oh, there'll be no cheating. It's not cheating. Oh, we got the oh, All right, now play that groaning, you guys. Think this number one is going to do with a blowout. Come on, show him, honey. Go. If my mother knew this, she'd kill me. the genuine coral necklace that I sent you in time for Mother's Day. It's just a little reminder that your sugar plum <laughs> is fighting a war out here in these islands. That's all for now, Mums. Cordial best wishes, etc., etc. Uh, excuse me, Mums. <laughs> Hello! Come in. I mean, come in! Hello. I saw my head knocking on the door. I said, what Benson is... Parker, office of the deck reporting, sir. <clears throat> At your service, sir. Uh... Any orders? Oh, knock it off. What's the matter with What is it? What? Oh, all right. All right, I'll be right there. Parker, I have to go to the supply depot right away. While I'm gone, you're in charge. Yes, sir. When I say in charge, I mean in charge of yourself. Don't make any command decisions. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. All is well. <laughs> Under three. Under three. Under three. Under three. <laughs> Take a uh, letter to Admiral Halsey. Dear Bull. Wars of the 17th received and contents noted. We're, uh... To Sugar Plum with Love, Mums. Uh, <clears throat> strike that uh, letter to Admiral Halsey. To the Secretary of the Navy. Subject, morale of men. <clears throat> With Mother's Day fast approaching, the heart of every American fighting man yearns for his mother's smile, his mother's touch, his 
mother's kiss. <laughs> um, <clears throat> think what it would mean morale-wise if some fighting unit were to receive a surprise visit from their mothers on Mother's Day. Oh, boy. Strike, oh, boy. Um, a good random selection might be, for instance, uh, the gallant crew of PT-73 under the command of Quentin R. McHale. Parker? Yes, sir. What are you doing in there? Well, get these over to the airstrip on the double. The Admiral's plane is waiting for them. Oh, yes, sir. I'll guard these dispatches with my life. They're not dispatches, you boob. They're cookies, and don't you shoot them. The Admiral likes them as ice cream. Yes, yes sir. Right, sir. Get away from my dictaphone. What is this? Get over there on the double. Yes, sir. Shut the safe. <laughs> See, now, where was I? Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, cordial best wishes, that's all for now, mums. Uh, Wallace R., uh, Wally Binghamton, uh, Captain USNR. <laughs> oh, uh, at a P.S., um, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, Yeoman, I transcribe these for my signature. Yes, I've read the letter from this Captain Binghamton. <laughs> the man is obviously bucking for a Section 8, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> you like the idea, sir? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Morale-wise and public relations-wise, it could put us on the front pages. But we've got to work fast, sir, rounding up the mothers. Yes, sir, right away. Bye, sir. Safe enough grade, eh, Skip? Boy, in a few short hours, we're gonna make history. This is gonna be one of the biggest blowouts since Diamond Jim Brady's bar mitzvah. Yeah, 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 but uh, I thought this was gonna be an exclusive soiree. But it looks like the only ones we're not expecting is the Japanese Navy. With a couple more tables, we could handle them, too. No, Skip, we should have never agreed to this. Suppose Binghamton drops in. Please, don't even remind me, will you? Oh, come on, don't worry, Skip. With the convoy arriving, he'll be too busy to worry about us. Uh... Yeah, well, he's over there unloading chip beef. We'll be unloading our money belt. Yeah! <laughs> I'll be glad when Mother's Day is over. Why? We're gonna have a ball. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be famous. Uh, we're gonna be court-martialed. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Well, sir, it looks like perfect weather for arrival of the convoy. Don't let appearances deceive you, Carpenter. The wind is coming in from McHale's Island, and I smell something. Uh-huh, you get it too, huh? No, sir, I have a sinus condition. Oh, it's just hanky-panky, Carpenter, that's what it is. Those brigands of 73 have been quiet all week. That means they're up to something. Captain Binghamton's office. Yes. Yes. Oh, good heavens, I'll tell him. Trouble. I know it's trouble. Hey, let me sit down before you start. All right, what is it? Blah, 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 blah. Sir, that was the landing strip. Yeah? A Captain Bryce from the Pentagon has just landed. Bryce? The Pentagon? Oh, yes, sir. That's in Washington, D.C., sir. Oh. I know where the Pentagon is. Listen, I'll go take care of your sinus condition. Let me think. Must be trouble. I know it's trouble. Why else would the Pentagon want to see me? Where is trouble? <laughs> Secretary of the Navy sends me his congratulations. That's right. He really went overboard on your idea. Oh, oh well, that's nice. <laughs> the secretary went over on uh, my... What uh, What idea was that that made the secretary over... How many letters do you write to the secretary? Oh, uh, uh, letters? Well, relax, Binghamton. It's okay. But from now on, you better go through channels. Yes, I... Now, you guests are flying in right behind me. They should be here in about half an hour. Oh, good. good. My guests are right behind Yeah, you. I could only round up three of the mothers, but it should work out fine. Oh, I think so. Three mothers makes a nice... Uh, mother. <laughs> now, come on, Binghamton. Stop acting as if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's your Mother's Day suggestion. Don't you read your own letters? Oh, yes, yes, I read all of the... Uh, it's just that I'm a little uh, surprised. <laughs> I don't blame you. I was a bit shook up myself when the secretary went for the idea. Yeah, well, you know the secretary. Ah, <laughs> oh, it should be quite a surprise to the boys on the PT-73. Yes, I think so. <laughs> the 
boys on the PT-73. Yes, and we want to keep it a surprise. Our photographer should be able to get some great reaction shots. Hmm. Well, we better get back to the airstrip. It's time to greet the mothers of PT-73. <laughs> the mothers of PT-73. So that's what McHale's been up to. You could have at least sent for my mother, sir. Yeah, and for any mothers. McHale must have forged my name to that letter. Forgery. Sir, you can finally bring him up on charges. On charges? What are you talking about? Didn't you hear him? The secretary likes my idea. Oh. Funny, though, I never would have taken Mikhail for a mother's boy. <laughs> you coming, Binghamton, or aren't you? Oh, yes, yes, Captain. Now, this fellow's in my way. Would you get out of here? <laughs> oh, now, look at this. These guys are getting carried away. Just in time, Skip. All right, men. Fall out for inspection. <laughs> Ready for inspection, sir. Here I am. All right, you eight balls. You know what I told you about tonight? There'll be no loaded dice, no marked cards. Whatever you say, sir. After all, you're the pit boss. Keep us a suspicious boat approaching island half mile away. So, what's suspicious about that? A boatload of suckers are coming in early. This boatload of suckers also contain Captain Binghamton. Binghamton? Binghamton? Condition red! Condition red! Watch the setup. Hey, a couple of you guys, give me those crap tables. Let's get this table out of here. Look, it's too heavy. Wait a minute. Yeah, cover it with these tablecloths. Come on. Go, go. Come on, you guys, hurry it up. Food, you get away from this food and get lost. Go on. Boys, if I hope the captain doesn't break us, I look lousy and fell bottom trousers. <laughs> He's brought a boarding party with him, too. This one is a shopper to all the female cops. Come out of here by drinking Willie's punch. Could be the Andrews sisters. There's three of them. <laughs> you want to know something, Skip? One of those ladies look old enough to be my mother. Holy Toledo, it is my mother. <laughs> Mom! The Navy sound wonders for you. Oh, you grown so tall, Harrison. Ma, don't call me Harrison. Oh, I'd like you to meet our skipper, Commander McHale, my mother. How do you do, do ma'am? <laughs> oh, tell me, Mrs. Bell, uh, just how did you all get here? Your nice Captain Binghamton sent for us. It's a Mother's Day surprise. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I'll smile for the camera, everybody. Say cheers. <laughs> Boy, this sure is a pleasant surprise, Mom. Straighten your hat. Huh? Fix your tie, Junior. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mom, don't call me Junior around the guys. You know how they pick up stuff like this. Oh, Mom, why don't you meet a fellow officer of mine? Hey, Skip! Uh, this is my mom, Skip. Uh, oh, this is Commander you. McHale. How do you do, ma'am? <laughs> Mac and I are on the boat together. Yeah, well, that's why the boy you've got here is a real Navy man. I know all that, but you don't seem to. Why hasn't he been promoted? <laughs> there, you're a lot of fun, aren't you? Well, everybody, look at the birdie. There's the, look at the birdie, everybody. <laughs> there, Collins. Get that before the crying stops. Look at the size of those tears. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. From a sailor? <laughs> oh, don't carry on so, Lester. Please, don't call me Lester, Ma. Ma, you're practically skin and bones. I miss your cooking, Ma. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should take better care of my boy, Captain Bungleman. <laughs> that's Binghamton, Binghamton. Oh, oh uh, that's a big smile for the cameraman, Lester. Say cheese. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Look, we're gonna have a party. Come on. Oh, 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 how delicious it looks. Then you were expecting us. Oh, uh, well, no, no, but you see, this is just our regular four o'clock snack. Uh, but uh, hey, now that you're here, why be our guest, ladies? Go on, help yourselves. <laughs> oh, isn't it nice? A four o'clock snack in the Navy. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're growing boys. <laughs> <laughs> My, they set a fine table. Yes. Uh, do you have any chip beef? I've always wanted to taste chip beef. Oh, no, ma'am. 
Well, you pulled another fast one, Mikhail, but I'm gonna let you get away with it this time, you sentimental sneak. <laughs> Skipper, we're in a jam. Hey, in a few hours, we're gonna be 200 crapshooters here. What'll my mother say? Yeah, well, forget about them. What about Bingham? What are we gonna do, Skipper? Yeah, what are we gonna do? You should have thought of that before. I don't know what we're gonna do. But right now, we gotta get rid of Binghamton. Lester, come eat. Have a piece of this nice layer cake. Oh, no. And the bottom layer is a roulette wheel. <laughs> My goodness, what? Uh, excuse me, uh, ladies. Uh, uh, I guess it is just a little bit lumpy because, uh, well, it's not like the cake that you mothers make, I'm sure. <laughs> Shall we try it again? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why, 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 it says it's an apple turnaround cake. <laughs> yes. Step back, Mikhail, you're ruining the picture. Now, no, 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 just a minute, sir. I think at this point that the, uh, the ladies uh, need to rest a little bit after that oh, long sir. trip. Oh, no, no, no we're not. Well, I guess you're right, Mikhail. We got enough coverage, Collins. Let's go. Well, come on, Binghamton. Sir, uh, see you, see you tomorrow, sir. Bye-bye, Captain. Bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Problems, problems. I don't get it. Why would Binghamton send for our mothers? Yeah, what's he got up his sleeve? I'm not so sure he sent for them. He accused me of pulling a fast one. Hey, you want to know something funny? About a week ago, I had the same idea about Mother's Day. <laughs> hey, Chuckter, this is no time for theories. Right now, we got to move into action. Yeah, well, what are we going to do? My mom doesn't even know I gamble. What about the dancing girls? Boy, if my mother finds out, she'll take me out of the Navy. <laughs> hold it, hold it, you swabbies. Now, look. In a couple of hours, every card shark and crap shooter in the, in the fleet is going to be here. And we sure don't want the ladies around when they start arriving. So here's what we're going to do. My, that dinner was absolutely yummy. <laughs> and your own Filipino houseboy. I never expected such luxury, Commander. Well, the Navy takes care of its own, ma'am. Yes. Uh, uh, see if Mrs. Grubb will have some more coffee, uh, uh, Irving. <laughs> Unnerving, he doesn't look like. <laughs> but that chicken Polynesian, that was delicious. Ah, uh, you gotta give me the recipe. Kashkamarimashita. Oh, he said he'd be happy to, man. <laughs> Thank you, Irving. Uh, uh, tell me something, Mr. McHale. You're such a handsome man. How is it that you never married? Oh, well, uh, well, uh... Well, I guess I never met the right girl, ma'am. <laughs> you have now. Oh? I have a sister. Young, wealthy, beautiful. Ah, Aunt Sophie isn't young, wealthy, or beautiful. I'll handle the matchmaking, Glester. <laughs> Look at it this way, Quentin. Love is a game, and marriage is a gamble. Uh, gamble? <laughs> yes, that's, that's right, ma'am, yes. Uh, that's the magic word. Uh, uh, Chuck, don't you think it's time for our surprise? Oh, yeah, the surprise. We got it. <laughs> yeah, the surprise. Uh, yeah, uh, now hear this, ladies. Mom, at exactly 1,700 hours, uh, that's 5 o'clock to you civilians. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll all report aboard PT-73. The purpose? Sightseeing crews around the harbor with your sons. Yeah. All right, all right. Now, we're going to be out kind of late, so you better pick up some wraps. Zero hour, exactly. 30 seconds. Let's shape up. Gee, I love that kind of talk. Isn't he wonderful? Oh, but personally, I couldn't enjoy it till I know the table's clean. Oh, no, 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 no. No guest ever does KP on this base. Uh, after all, that's what we got Irving for. Awesome. <laughs> all right, now, ladies, let's go. Let's yes. go. Two by two, buddy system, mother and son. All right. Forward. Huh. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye. <laughs> Oh, boy. Now, if they just can get away hey, before they're going to skip, what a time for the gals to show up. <laughs> Hi, Chucky. Hi, boys. Who are they? Uh, who are who? <laughs> Ma, such pretty girls. Oh, uh, those aren't girls, Mom. They're, uh, native orphan waifs. <laughs> That's right. Orphan waifs. They come once a week for the laundry. <laughs> Yeah, orphans doing the laundry. It wasn't good. All right, now we've got a lot of sightseeing to do, girls. So come on, let's go on the double. Move out. Now, will you stop that chattering, Junior? Chuck, Mom. The poor things. They've hardly got a stitch on. They could catch a double pneumonia. I've got a nice cardigan I don't need. One of them looks just my size. And I've got a last year's tweet knit. I have a wool bolero. 
for clothes, they don't have, but for ukuleles, they have. Peacock, darlings, I got a tweet next week. Oh, well, well, uh, uh, wait a minute. Hey, what about the sightseeing trip? Hey, line up here. Hey, that's an order. Uh, please. What? They can... Oh, I'm sorry, Skip. I, I, I tried it. Maybe they'll listen to you, Skip. Oh, not my mother. Bring out that booze! Uh -oh. You better start blowing taps. Look who's here. Where's all the action out there? All right, now, wait a minute. You guys stay here. I'll take care of this. Get them dice going. Come on, we're all at Hey, you guys, this Mother's Day event was a great idea. Yeah, crazy. Can't hurt. Ah, that is, man. Uh, now, listen. I got something I want to explain to you, so uh, if you'll just follow me, huh? Come on. Come one, come all to our first annual gaming festival. Gamble your cares away at beautiful McHale's Island, the Las Vegas of the Pacific. I found it down by the dock, sir. It's for 6 p.m. Sunday. Uh, that's today, sir. I know what day it is. Oh, McHale has pulled some dastardly schemes in his day, but this tops them all. So that's why he wanted those mothers to front for one of his orgies. It still doesn't seem possible that Commander With McHale... McHale, anything is possible. Get me Captain Bryce. Get me my boat. I'm going to pick up a little present for the Secretary of the Navy, Mikhail in Irons. Gift wrap for Mother's Day. Yes, sir. Uh, Carpenter. Yes, sir. You almost went out the door ahead of me. <laughs> All right, Binghamton, now stop playing games. I demand to know why you rushed me back out here like this. Well, I didn't want to spoil my little surprise, Captain Bryce. I want you and the Secretary of the Navy to see just what kind of a man McHale really is. Oh, Captain Bryce and Captain Binghamton. <laughs> Collins, I didn't expect you back so soon, sir. No, I'll bet you didn't, McHale. We're here for your little Mother's Day party. Oh? <laughs> Looks like we're just in time, too. Hope you got plenty of film. You're going to enjoy this, Captain, and so is the Secretary. Mikhail, I'm looking forward to it, too. Uh, excuse me, Collins. All right, Willie. I'll call your mother just as soon as I get back. B-12. No one has bingo yet? Better call another number, Junior. Sure. Pete, have another sandwich. Beverly likes a man with meat on his bones. Who's Beverly? Some girl Mrs. Gruber wants me to meet. You were so right, Binghamton. Your surprise was worth seeing for myself. Mikhail, you ought to be congratulated. What an unselfish gesture, sharing your mothers with the rest of the fleet. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sending a message to the Secretary of the Navy commending you both for this operation. Uh -huh. Well, what are you standing there for, Collins? Start snapping. Uh -huh. Isn't that good, sir? Huh? Huh? Well, Mikhail, you got away with it again. Oh, uh, like... Captain Bingleton! Come, have a piece of fruit. Maybe we should get a piece of fruit, Captain? Oh, I don't want any piece of fruit. Oh. Captain. By the way, Captain, are you married? Yes. Too bad. Oh, that I have a girl for you. Ah, oh, cheese, Captain, cheese. Bye, bye, yes, bye, bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> ah, well, there they go, boys. Oh, come on, Chuck. Look, they'll probably be back again for Christmas. Christmas? How do you figure? Well, all you gotta do is write another letter for Binghamton, maybe this time to the president. <laughs> uh, that's our boy. Oh, come on, Mr. Parker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Get him. Skipper, huh? how long do you figure this war gonna last? Well, that's hard to say, Fuji. Why, are you anxious to get back to Tokyo? Oh, no. Groover, son, your mama says she have a nice girl for Fuji in Ireland. <laughs> Ireland? Long Ireland, New York. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs>